takes a while to get used to the ways of the forest. Today's meals, pork Mediterranean. I mean, I really made myself a easy food ration <clears throat> preparation. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I gotta pick up some Labrador tea for the road. Let's see for this meal. Yeah. Mm -mm. Cheers, I hope it's not too hot. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, wow. Wow. That's awesome. I relaxed today. I had a um, easy day. But th yesterday I didn't even see the birch bark, the birch tree when I came on the trail. I had the canoe that's not even made for portage. It was hectic to bring up. Because uh, I didn't want it to walk around uh, up the rapids with my canoe. So, <laughs> finally I have the birch bark after I messed around with feather sticks for a while. And I got it, but it's... You have to settle with the minimum of what you can find acceptable, whatever it is. If it's for a little portage, or if it's for your camp, or firewood, or deal with having to dry something inside your clothing before you light the fire. Um, not making fires in the forest, especially where there's uh, moss. If there's rock underneath, it's okay, it's cool. Uh, it's, there's no danger if there's a big boulder or a big rock. Um, moss is incredibly uneven most of the time, so it's not really the best, but I manage. Why, why I'm here? Well, it's not the, the question why I'm here is kind of far-fetched. It's, it's, it's not just one reason why I would be out here. <laughs> it's many reasons. It's the, uh, it's the accomplishment of all the skills that I've owned in the last six years thanks to YouTube. to practice everything that I've learned so far. Good evening. Really hot, it's a heat wave. What you see here is a shelter I'm starting to build. I have uh, maybe 18 hours to build it. There you go. Yes! Natural mosquito repellent. I'll grab a nice bite and get the hell out of here. A lot of dangerous stuff here. Oh, look at that big one. Wow. Handful a bit, just a bit. Good. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. So now it's more to get to understand nature. Five more nights. <laughs> yeah. One word to describe this place right now. Spooky. Spooky with a smile on. Ah, you can't stop rowing. You can't stop rowing. Don't stop. Go, go. The wind.
wind is picking up. Storms ahead, so I'm gonna give myself an hour before I stop ashore to have dinner. Maybe I'll set up camp because it's uh, taking a shot, taking a chance here. That's all I can do in an hour. Set up camp. Look at the waves on this lake. Too much wind. And uh, the locals always uh, nice, you know, to hear about what they have to say, and they they explain things so you can understand where you're going. So I didn't even know I was going to do this port, this uh, canoe trip. It's it's fun to paddle on long lakes. It's relaxing. It's a uh, it's a good rush because when you're in the middle of the lake, there's you gotta stay focused. You can't just like practice some things or, or you know you have to straightforward you have to look around make sure you're not hitting any rocks and it's a very 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 peaceful place very calm To be honest, at first I was feeling weird coming here, but now the sun set, my tent set up, like everything is set up, and I know I didn't, you know, make food or use any food near my camp at my tent, so it's fresh, everything is good. I'm in uh, Labrador tea, so it's removing some of the odors too, and it's just wonderful, and I never, I can't be in my comfort zone, I always have to check my back, there's something, sometime, you never know. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. I really appreciate what you're doing, guys. And right now it's a relaxed moment. I, I really can't tell you how relaxed I am right now after a long, pretty much a long day of paddling, looking around for spots. everybody to start you know getting ready for these type of trips because it's it's get out there it's I was caught in the middle of the railroad track and I know oh crap look at these boulders the thunder of God da, da. Da, 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 da. You've been thunderstruck. Yes, I've been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha, <laughs> ha. This song is dedicated to all the guys in Alone. I want to shout out to uh, Carl Craven, Wayne. Shout out to Alan, which I've been uh, trying to talk to and talking to in the last uh, couple of weeks. Shout out to Joe Robinet. Being alone is not easy. Calorie-wise, you don't take the same decision and if you had all the calories, so you can't blame any decisions. But uh, uh, one trick for the guys that left, just talk, just show you're there, show presence. Even though uh, they're not scared, if you show presence, they won't really bother. Lots of game in here. It's a small island, small. 
loss of game, I'm pretty sure it's not the place I want to camp. Condense in here, I'm pretty sure. Just gotta watch myself, okay? Gotta be careful here. Take my time. Don't take any stupid decision. Take calculated risks, which is what I'm doing right now. Calculated that for three months. <laughs> Planning this trip is a calculated risk. Clouds out west indicate there will be rain in about three hours to my uh, Okay, so I saw a bear you, you see guys, I was saying it's full of game here. I wasn't wrong. Damn, I wasn't wrong. <laughs>